This is how I solder this together. What I've got is I've got the board with nothing on it. They're all surface mount. I've got myself a cheat sheet here so that I can get them on in the right orientation. The LEDs are polarized and being Charlie flexed it's even more important because then you get random bulbs coming on when they shouldn't. So I'm going to cover both this surface mount soldering and how I've got my cheat sheet set up. I've got a drawing of the tree and I've got a dash pointing which way the um, they're on each of these surface mount LEDs and there's no way I'm going to get this on camera. Um, there is a green stripe on the top on one side and that's what this dash is referring to. So this top one I want it off to the right, next one I want it pointing outward, next one I want pointing inward, inward, inward. So that's my, my little cheat. First thing I want to do before I start soldering them is tin all the pads, get some uh, get some solder on one of each of these pair of pads. So just solder, 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 solder. Just go through and get. Since I'm right-handed, I do all the right-handed ones. Um, if I'd done my silk screen properly, I wouldn't need the, this cheat sheet for the polarity, but I don't seem to have any polarity indicators on my silk screen. So, maybe for a future revision. Now, let's start with the yellows, because I accidentally took one out, one too many out last time, so I got one already. It says I want three yellows on the back. So I've got one there, and I slowly peel this off, and they pop out. One, two, three. There's three yellows. Take my really nice SMD soldering tweezers and let's start here, 15. I want the green stripe inward. There's the green stripe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the pad first. There we go, get it nice and liquid. Then I'm going to set the LED down on the pad and try and get it as square and centered as possible and then pull it away. Now I'm going to move the tweezers to the top of the LED and reheat that pad real quick just to make sure the LED is flat on the surface. Next yellow. So over here. Reconfirm my polarity. There we go. Flat. and the final yellow is at the bottom. This one I've got an arrow because uh, I couldn't tell which pad I wanted so I want the, the green pointing upward towards the top of the tree. And there we go. One more heat. There we go. Now I go through all this and I do this with all of them after I've got all of them all the different I've got four colors so when I get all four colors soldered down at one side I go turn it around and uh, I'll show you I wait until I get them all on normally so that I don't miss any but in this case I'm just gonna show you an example get that there get some heat down and it's pretty simple to do the second side there's one Some flux would make this even easier, but I want to try to avoid having to clean these boards quite so extensively. My flux makes quite a mess. So There's the uh, three yellows, and then I'll move on to the next color. I got each uh, strip of LEDs sitting on its original package, so I, I know that one's red, this one's yellow, here's my blue, and I've got green sitting up here. Um, and once I get this side done, I just flip it over and repeat the process. We'll come back when I solder the uh, microcontroller. That's uh, actually we'll probably cover the resistors because they are crazy tiny. I've got the resistors or the LEDs on both sides now. This is the front here, and I've got got five um, resistor spots. I'm using 0603 resistors, which is just a bit smaller than you should be using when soldering it by hand. Always love a good challenge. There's five resistors out of this strip. I got them laying on the table here. 
want to get them black side up and like the LEDs I've got one pad with some solder on it I'll grab a resistor try and grab it at the back half and I'm gonna heat that pad get it liquid there we go set the resistor in place and pull the solder pull the iron away before the tweezers. I'll put the tweezers on top and get it flat. Okay. And repeat five times. After I've got all five of them installed, I can move on to soldering the other side of the resistors. Now I can solder the back side of these. Now it's time to put the microcontroller on. It's uh, AT Tiny in a um, SOIC package. I believe it's SOIC. Anyways, it's surface mount. We're going to take some flux. This is the only part I use flux on. Otherwise, the whole board gets sticky and it just becomes a nightmare to assemble. Here are the microcontrollers. I'm just peel this back and get one to fall out. Go. There's a dot on the surface on, on the silk screen, and there's a dot on the chip. I'm gonna try and get them to line up. I'm gonna set it in place. Try to get it centered and lined up properly as well as I can. I'll probably bump it some more before I actually get this done. I'm gonna try and solder one pad on here. Get some fresh solder on my iron. Grab the chip and hold it still while I tin this one. There we go, it's all it ticks. Now we're going to use the drag technique, which works really well when you got liquid flux on the board. Just get plenty of solder on here and then just drag the iron down, down the leads. Oops. Okay, get a little bit too much on some of these. You just heat it back up and it all fixes itself. There we go. And I'll do the same on the other side. Put a little bit more solder on here because I didn't quite get enough. Nice and slow and it flows into the joints really well. And done. Now that it's built, it's time to program it and uh, see if it works. Um, I've got the ICSP header spot on here. And I've got um, the pins just stuffed into the end of this cable. This is a uh, USB tiny ISP um, programmer. They're really cheap. Anyways, um, just make sure you get the polarity right. I got a mark on here, and uh, I just stick the pins in the hole. If I can get them in, and then kind of push it sideways so they make good contact. And then I go over to the Arduino over here on the laptop. And I go up to Tools. Um, board I've already got AT Tiny 45 at 8 megahertz selected. Um, so I go down here and I burn bootloader, and I'll see the lights come on here. And done burning bootloader on the Arduino. Oh yeah, it's done burning bootloader now. So what I want to do is I want to go up here. Actually, I just hit upload, and you see the lights, and that's it uploading. And it's running. So I don't see any erroneous bulbs coming on as it goes up. Doing exactly what it should on this side. Now I'll go check the other side. Make sure that every bulb's coming on properly. I, I could run a test sketch and have it go through each bulb one at a time, but I'm okay with this method. Once in a while I'll have one come on when it shouldn't, and it's usually just a polarity. I got one of them in backwards. That's why I test it. So there's that. It's programmed and ready to ship now.